Good evening, everyone. Hello, Jaeger. The only reason why Noodle isn't in this video is because she's in the process of shedding right now. So, the next video that she's in, she'll be a brand new baby. Anyway, today is the part two of my nightmares video. Um, the only reason why I'm making a part two is because I have a lot of nightmares and I had, I didn't have enough time to talk about all of them in one video, so. Yeah, let's get to it and start drawing. And it's voiceover time again. This, um, the structure of the voiceovers are still gonna be the same as the last part. And, uh, yeah. Mannequins. I think these dreams started, like, right after the man that looks like a monster. And they're also a repetitive dream. But, um... Except there would just be a different kind of mannequin in every dream. It would always start in my current house, in my room. Whether it be my childhood house when I lived in there, or my current house that I live in now, it would always be in the house that I am in. The lights, when I try to turn the switch, it won't they won't turn on all the way. I mean they'll turn on, but they'll just be really dim. And then if I walked around the house, there would be a mannequin of some sort trying to kill me, whether it be like, well, a mannequin or an animatronic. It depends on what I was thinking about at the time. One time, it was a robot dinosaur that I used to have. My brother has it, but I'm not too scared of it anymore. And then one time, it was this uh, life-size Barbie doll that my mom got. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. Uh-huh. I'm gonna have fucking nightmares. And yeah, sure enough, I had the nightmare. And every single time, it would just try to kill me. It would have... It's never actually gotten to me, but it would usually have, like, some sort of claws or a knife if it was, like, a decent doll or some shit rex the the uh what i called my dinosaur he obviously was like teeth but the barbie doll had like a knife a kitchen knife and she would stab it, it was always some sort of puncturing weapon and uh i learned how to shake myself awake and as soon as i turned on those lights and figured out that it was a dream, I would, like, yeet out of there immediately. I'm not sure why I've been having these dreams, but they've been going on for a long time, and, I mean, I just kind of yeet myself awake, basically.
intruder. So, this was a single dream, it wasn't repetitive, but it was terrifying. I was in my mom's house, and um, my current house that I live in, yeah, my mom's house, and uh, I figured out that there was a monster in my house that looked like a cross between the mon- the alien from Alien and the monster from Stranger Things. And, um, it would, it was just basically in my house fucking trying to eat us, and we would have to be quiet because it, I guess it couldn't see, but it could hear. It was sort of like, uh, a quiet place, but, you know. And, um, Yeah, but my dad, the thing was, my dad would be constantly making dad jokes and being loud, and I would be like, shut up, oh my god, and I always tell him to be quiet, because his dad jokes are really lame, and I'm like, okay, stop, but he, he acted like he would, and the monster was coming closer, And then I figured out that I could climb the ceiling. I could get to the ceiling. And then, even with this, my dad wasn't phased, but he, uh... He still started making dad jokes, even after the monster was looking for us. And he spotted us. And then I woke up. I think the reasoning why I had this dream was because I had just watched the Alien movie. And this was back when I had nightmares because of movies. I've become immune to it now. Stalker. So, this is the dream that I'm currently drawing, and it's basically it basically started off in my mom's house. I was it was my normal life before quarantine, and um, but the only thing is is that there was this little creepy fucking guy that was following me the entire time, and it was scary (laughs) like he didn't do anything but he was just creepy and he would be stalking me every single place that I went he didn't have a mouth he didn't have a nose he just had eyes and he had a cloak he had a black cloak he was like three feet tall and I looked at him and I was like why the fuck are you here what is under your cloak Are you gonna stab me? Is there, like, a copious amount of knives in there? Huh? But, yeah. 
he just basically followed me around the entire day and it just made me really, really uncomfortable. And I was like, uh, no. Yeah, and the reasoning why I had this, I'm not sure why I had this dream, I'm really not. I just kind of went to bed one night and then I had that dream and then I woke up and I was like, holy shit. Behind those empty walls, the walls, from behind those empty walls, from behind those empty walls, from behind those empty walls, the walls. This is a little bonus, so I'm gonna be doodling my little, um, my little guy from the last dream here, but up close, just so that you can see how creepy he was, but this was basically the last time I ever had a man that looks like a monster dream. Um, so, if you didn't watch my... Uh, first part to this video then you should probably do that now because it goes more in depth on who the man that looks like a monster is but basically he came he spoke to me and then I fell asleep in the dream and then the dream that he was showing me was basically a puppy prancing down this long table and then I shook myself awake so yeah that that was that that was it and then I never saw the man that looks like a monster again or no i never heard the man that looks like a monster again and i always wondered about what happened to that puppy and i remember assuming when i was a little kid that it died and then i imagined how it would have died like i was a very violent child even though i had nightmares because of movies but i remember like imagining it like being brutally murdered and then I cried because I I don't like dogs dying I'm fine with people dying because fuck people but dogs or any animal in general no no I will cry at that
He approves. And with that, we're done. Um, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please leave a like, because that's what you do when you like videos. And if you enjoy my artwork, please consider subscribing, and go follow me on Instagram, because I'm very active there. I post all of my art from my sketchbooks there, except for the doodle pages, but uh, those are for sketchbook tours. And uh, I also put polls on uh, my story to see what you guys want for these kinds of videos. So if you want to participate in these kinds of videos, then yeah, you should go follow me over there. And uh, I'm still really bad at outros, so bye.